Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have for you today is that exact stand that many of you have been asking about since you've seen the Pose video featuring the Moon Gundam. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and exactly show you what the stand is and how much it costs and possibly where you can get it. So this is the actual box. It is made by Kotobukiya, as you can see down there, and it is a modeling support goods. Now I purchased, purchased it for about 1800 yen, uh, the 2100 yen is crossed out, so I don't know exactly how much it is. I'm pretty sure you can get it for about 20 bucks, uh, maybe online, but for the most part, uh, I've, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get it for between 20 to 25 dollars, which is, is fairly expensive for a stand, but I think this is definitely uh, going to be worth your buck. Now it is a part of the playing base type A. I don't know if there's a type B. I haven't. I have not seen a type B, and I haven't researched any um, anything online to see if there truly is. But yeah, this is the type A of the playing base. Now right here on the side, you're going to see a couple of different poses. Now this is going to be uh, the Jinrai, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is the exact one I do have, and just kind of like playing with the different weapon sets. Uh, so kind of like she's like maneuvering them, I guess telekinetic or whatever. Uh, but yeah, free, you know, pretty much free roaming uh, directly around her. So I don't know if you can catch that, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, some of the examples of how to use it. And on this side, you see some of the Hexagear stuff from Kotobukiya. So I know these are like super, super small little figures or models and uh, just kind of like showing you some pretty cool little um, poses, like a very dynamic, I guess, I don't know what the hell it's doing, like a punch or something and just knocking back all these little uh, guys away. And then right, right down here, I think is the Pretty Witch, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I know the Kotobukiya, this is, um, I think it's a, yeah, it's a Megami device uh, kit. So really cool looking. I love, I just, I love this, I love this line so much. The Megami device has been nothing but a, uh, a treat to go ahead and play with and build. So yeah, this is a pretty cool looking pose. Now right here on the back, uh, I mean it just pretty much shows you all the different kind of uh, combinations you can have with the different stand. Uh, and it has a little mechanism here, so these parts, like I know, I know this one right here actually locks. I haven't been able to get this one to lock, so maybe it's just kind of user error. But I'll show y'all, and it is going to come with two different types of um, like little stands. So this one is very straightforward; just has like one little uh, area to where you can you know peg in. Uh, but then this one has like a little adapter to where you plug into there, and then this has like its own little neck, and you can pretty much pose this in any kind of way. Um, but this isn't going to have any kind of articulation in this little area, so there's no joints. But then these have tons and tons of art, little articulation. And then you can obviously extend, uh, you can raise it up, and you can plug it into where you can go ahead and keep it into that, um, that position. And then right here you are going to see uh, all the, pretty much the contents of what's going to be coming in the box. And here's the stand, so not really much to it. You are going to have this nice little base right here, uh, which does have multiple different connections, but I've tried with Bandai stands. None of them seem to want to connect, so I mean, Bandai is a little bit smaller as far as um, the size. So I, I guess you are going to have to stick with Kotobukiya if you're trying to like add more stands uh, to this. Uh, but yeah, I've never seen really any other stands from Kotobuki except for uh, this one particular stand. Uh, so maybe it's just me not really looking hard enough or something, but yeah. Now this is the neck part, so this can actually extend out uh, quite a bit if you don't pull it out all the way. But yeah, you can go ahead and pull it out quite a bit, and it is fairly, I mean, fairly lengthy. So, and you have like little pegs uh, that you can actually plug into here. All right, so you're going to have two different little peg pieces to where you can stop and prevent this from uh, moving down so now it can stay in place like so. And right here at like kind of the neck area, uh, it's going to have two different little prongs right here to where you can just push up and it releases the lock mechanism with the spring inside. So all you have to do is kind of like push into the direction that you need it and then you can move around and see this one doesn't want to like just permanently stay which boggles my mind I don't, and I don't really feel like pulling it apart but this one this part has no problem staying put but then once you you know pull uh, the opposite way then you can pretty much lock it into another position like so but yeah just takes a little bit of uh, maneuvering and you should be fine now it also can rotate right here and this part can rotate as well 
Now you are gonna get another mini stand. This one can also retract, uh, but this one's gonna have just this one little peg piece uh, that just has one part of articulation right here at the pretty much the neck piece. Next, we're gonna talk about this little band. Now this is kind of where the whole stand shines. Uh, it's gonna have multiple points of articulation right here, so this little part, it's kind of hard to focus because it's all clear, but yeah, this part right here can rotate up and down. This one can move. Uh, then right here at the base, this can move. And there's also another one right here, so that can move. Um, so a lot of rotations going on. This is going to be highly flexible and poseable, uh, which is just gonna allow you to make just almost endless amounts of poses and different combinations of uh, kind of like, you know, positions that you wanna pose all your funnels or maybe uh, some actual small kits on. So this little piece is where you want to plug it into. You can plug it into the small one right here, or you can just plug it right into the big one. Uh, it doesn't really matter where, but you can plug it uh, essentially anywhere, and you're actually going to get two of these. And there's a second one right there. So now, how do you mount the funnels on here? Well, let me go ahead and show you. So these little pieces are actually what you're going to mount on here, and they just simply slide either on top or you can slide them on the bottom and they're pretty firm so they they should be able to stay on without any kind of uh, issue unless you got something that's really, really heavy pop it right on there. Now you are gonna have a few little options to plug into these. Uh, one of the first one is going to be this little piece. So this plugs right in there and it's gonna have just another little uh, empty like hole right there. So it, it basically just extends it out to where you can plug more uh, little like extenders right there and have things a little bit uh, more on an angle. So instead of it just going out like that, so if you have something that does have a peg, you're gonna want it to come straight out or you know at an angle somewhere around there. Then you're gonna have this little piece. Now this one obviously plugs into it and it's gonna have a dual, it's basically a straight through hole. So if you wanna plug something through or you wanna plug like two little pieces on the side, uh, yeah, you can definitely go ahead and do that and it rotates so if you wanna plug it more at an angle and have it come out, you can do that. You're gonna have this little angled peg so the peg plugs in right there and then you can just pretty much have a little peg piece that's coming out on an angle. And then lastly, you're gonna have this dual sided peg. So this just, I mean, makes it have another peg on pretty much extending. So nothing really too special, but let's go ahead and see some examples. And here is one example for using a stand. I decided to go ahead and use the SD Nightingale. Uh, so just putting the funnels right on there, utilizing those little kind of hooks. Uh, pretty, look, pretty much looks good in my opinion. Uh, I would say maybe use some enhancement parts from like some of the effect stands that come uh, come out from Bandai. Uh, so the ones that have like the burst in rocks or you know the flame effects. Use those because they a lot of, a lot of those have the extension arms. And you can make those little uh, funnels kind of fly around all around the kit, and it's gonna look a little bit better. And here's the next kit I wanted to showcase, uh, the high grade Unicorn Phoenix Destroy Mode narrative version. So I, I think this is actually one of the better kind of poses that you could pull off with these stands. Uh, just having those funnels, well not funnels, but the DA shields, just kind of like flowing around. It, it looks amazing to be honest. I love the way this looks. I uh, still need to see the movie, I haven't seen that yet, but I'm pretty sure once I see the movie and I see this uh, pose actually recreated in that movie, it's gonna look just phenomenal. So I just went ahead and recreated it myself. Um, now obviously you can do this with pretty much other stands uh, that you might have, and it may even look better than this, uh, but I think you know this looks completely fine the way it is right now. It, I mean, I, I, I personally do enjoy it, so if you want to go ahead and reenact it with this uh, type of stand, you can definitely go for it. And here is another example of how to use the stand. So since this is a Kotobukiya stand, it's obviously gonna be highly compatible with any Kotobukiya kit. So the Hexagear stuff, the Frame Arms Girl, as well as the Megami device, all of it will be 100% compatible with the stand. Uh, all the pegs fit in very, very nicely, very, uh, pretty much very firm. Uh, so you're not gonna have to worry about it, you know, falling out or being loose or anything of the sort. So very beautiful and I think this is exactly how this kit uh, was essentially supposed to be um, displayed because the blue little energy that uh, connects those two like little funnels to the back I don't think it looks that great but this I mean this is just like how it's supposed to be because they're just free you know free roaming funnels not 
things that have blue energy connected to it. But uh, nonetheless, it looks good. And um, I think if, if honestly, if I had an extra spare um, stand like this, I probably would you know permanently give it to uh, to this model. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, definitely thank you for watching. I hope you kind of have a better understanding about this uh, stand. Now, I, I know I didn't get into like where you can buy it at. I don't really know, to be honest. I wish I can give you a solid answer, but um, I bought it out here in Japan. So I'm pretty sure if you go maybe to the Kotobukiya store, if you go to any of your kind of like more local um, like areas like USA Gundam Store or Gundam Planet, maybe they might actually uh, cover it or Hyperlink Japan. Um, Amazon is probably gonna be your best bet if you you know don't really have any of those kind of like stores that can really supply it for you but nonetheless I think you um, definitely should be able to reach out and find this uh, somewhere on the internet Google uh, it's cool if you really enjoy kind of posing more dynamically especially just for photos because uh, I'm not gonna like permanently have a kit on the stand this is gonna be exclusively for you know these type of poses something for Instagram or YouTube and whatnot especially for my uh, reviews but that's pretty much it guys uh, definitely thank you for watching uh, please rate comment subscribe and if you do you know enjoy this stand if you already own it uh, definitely let me know in the comment section below you know how you've been enjoying it and what you've been using it for uh, if not I mean let me know if you are going to be purchasing this and it's something that you really want to obtain uh, for your kit collection but that's it for me so definitely appreciate you for watching and uh, you can expect to see one of these kits, uh, the one that I did not review. <laughs> uh, expect that to be the next review uh, coming up on this channel. So thanks, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.